Here comes the highlight of our trip. This is time for ordination. He's our brother, our big brother. And we're so proud of him. And they're getting everything ready. And I just want you guys to be a part of this. I love you. Thank you, ambassadors. We just can't wait to see what God did in my life today. Yay! Welcome to the Ambassador's Hour. If you could not hear what I said, I'm at the ordination service of my brother and we're going to upload this on the channel because this is a paramount part of our journey and my brother's journey and I'm super duper excited about what God is going to do. We're coming to you on Resurrection Sunday all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Well, actually, Brown Lake or Mundelein, Illinois. And I'm just super duper excited. They're getting arranged now. And it's going to be such a blessing. Happy Resurrection Sunday. God is so awesome. Let's say our mantra while we wait. For I know who I am and whom that I stand. Whom empowers me to be. I am an ambassador for Christ. And this is the hour to recognize me. And this is a time and an awesome season. Where we get to acknowledge the goodness of God. And see a full transformation of my brother Boogie. Becoming from Boogie Hilltop. Yeah to becoming a wonderful mighty deacon elect so here we go Staying around for this momentous, 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 <laughs> for this wonderful occasion. Um, by far, it is a very heavy thing. Uh, I just want to pray and we just get right into it and uh, do what God has called us to do in the lives of these people. Time we get to the right season. Father, we thank you for such a time as this, Lord. We thank you, God. Celebrated and we're still celebrating our thank Savior God. today, Lord. And I just pray that hearts were open, and I know that they were, Lord. And they were able to see things in a new light, the, the, the realness, the realness of the Lord, Lord. Not some fabricated ah, yeah. religious, oh, but the realness of who you really are. Hallelujah. God, I just ask for healing for past wounds. Uh, people have heard about it and treated by church and and categorize Jesus as some man, and there I see white man, and, and all these things that the enemy has interjected, Father God. He is God. Hallelujah. He's, He's God. He's God, man. And Lord, I just pray that this word would just settle in the heart of everyone. So we're here today, Lord, as you have called us to be, to ordain two people that you have called to such a time as this. Use me for your glory and let your, let your weight of your glory rest upon them. Their lives will never be the same from this moment on. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, be seated, be seated. All right, Deacon Elect Tyree and your wonderful wife. How long y'all been married? Is it 15 or 16, Tyree? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to start, you know what I mean? Because then you looked over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> We just had an argument about how long, we were, we were discussing how long we've been married. I know she didn't want me to say that, but, you know. <laughs> For y'all who, who know me, I'm, this don't just me. I love Jesus. Amen. But for you guys, I just want to, shared this with you before I sent you some information, but uh, this is not a light thing that you're about to enter into, of course, and uh, you have some witnesses here who walked in it for some months and years or so, um, so it's not a light thing for you to be ordained as a deacon and a deaconess. This is truly a time for you to be restored and go out and make an impact my God. Impact and add value, spiritual value, and just people's lives on many different levels and help people to advance. So 
Pastor Adrian and I, we've had a chance to observe your lives. We've had a chance to see your integrity, your excellence, your consistency. Um, you know, you're willing to serve, you're giving, you're just being available whenever you were asked to be and when you were not asked to be. Even though I had to carry a sign out there this morning myself, I ain't saying anything about that. Don't worry about that part. <laughs> well, you know how I am. <laughs> but uh, in, in all honesty, I just want you to know that your position as a deacon is not to be compared to nobody else's position as an elder or a pastor. Amen? And so, because here's, here's the real thing. This church really could not move forward with order unless we had deacons in place. Amen. You know, I gotta make sure this everything is, is going on and it's going right in the church. You know, I can't have you up here trying to minister and folks running all around. And you gotta be observant. Amen. Amen. You gotta be hands on, making sure that everything is, is going forth in decency uh -huh. and in oh. order so that it would enhance the move of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You come in and interrupt and all kinds of stuff. So as a deacon and a deaconess, you're watchful. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So there's a special anointing, as I said already, that's going to come up on your life that we on under our hands. It's going to really impart some things to your spirit that you've never experienced before. And I can tell right now that even the elders and deacons are starting to fill it again. My God. Pastor Kings. All right. Well, here we go. I want you to know that we love you. Church, do y'all love them? Yes, indeed. I want to share a little bit with the people what you guys have already been given. And that these elders and pastors already know. Uh, but there are some qualifications of deacons. I'm just going to highlight a couple of them. And, uh, but I just need the people to know so that they can watch y'all right too. Because mm -hmm. our office remains open in case you um, <laughs> but you guys are really like, if I had to break it down in layman's terms, like you, you're helpers, you're helpers, you're in the ministry of helps, which is so very important, the ministry of helps. And so we are to let you understand some of the qualifications. One of the things, uh, there, there are moral requirements, moral requirements. It talks about in second, first Timothy, it talks about being uh, double tongue, and, and and that talks about you saying one thing, but you're doing something different. You know, that means you uh, can't be involved in no gossip, spread no rumors. I don't do that, but I'm just telling the people know. Mm -hmm. um, another one is not given to wine. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about that. It's, it's not not given to, to, to too much wine, but in this house we're not giving to no wine. Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't know none of that. Amen. None of that. Uh, no way. I can't tell nobody what to do with their life, but as a deacon, and elder, pastor in this house, none of that. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. Now, that's something that people like to do after dinner. No way. <laughs> I know I'm making some folks mad, but that's okay. Uh, it's just good. It's just good that we don't. Is that it? It's just good to live a holy, consecrated life. Amen. Y'all know my history. And uh, one thing can lead to the next. Uh, Amen. All secure. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Y'all ain't messing with that anyway. But anyway, not greedy of money. Mm -hmm. Not putting uh, any more heavy responsibility on y'all than anybody else. But... Um, you're not greedy for money. You want to have a successful, blessed life, prosperous life, like praise the Lord. You're doing great careers. And you're taking care of your family and supporting your ministry. You're doing things that are just wholesome with your finances. I'm just saying that uh, you're not out manipulating and you're not doing nothing like that. You know, and you don't. You're honest, good-hearted people. Amen. Uh, it talks about um, being blameless. Being blameless. Oh, yeah. uh, in other words, just continue to live your life above reproach. Amen. Above reproach. Amen. Uh, that talks about in your business dealings, uh, your career, your, your 
family and in the marketplace. Because, you know, you represent the kingdom of God, you represent this house, you represent your pastors, and you represent yourself and your family. So your life is always above reproach. There can be no questions asked. The life of integrity. Praise the Lord. And um, then it says to be proven. And that means to uh, mature. Um, you know, we've watched your life. We know that they're your genuine people. Uh, you don't have to prove your, your genuineness to us. We, we've watched your life over this period of time. And we know that you are genuine people. Uh, there are some domestic requirements as well. Um, moral purity. Uh, you know, you have to take care of your home and take care of your family like you always do. Uh, you know, Lil Tyree, he uh, loves when y'all take care of him. <laughs> Amen. Um, there are some spiritual requirements, of course. Um, obvious, you know, love the Lord, be filled with the Spirit of God. Also, that um, you don't let your emotional energy be used in an emotional way. Mm -hmm. You know, your spiritual people first. Amen. You have to be able to always guard your emotions because you know, some times where you might have to have a little conversation, but I doubt it, you know, right, not tomorrow, but maybe next week. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> but you have to be able to, you know, to, to guard your emotions and be full of wisdom and. Uh, don't know that information that you come across, which you will, uh, as being part of the uh, gang staff, the people in this church, uh, you don't let it, they use it in the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there's also being great, which means a seriousness of mind and care of, mm -hmm. of character, being honorable, honest, worthy of respect. And then holding the mystery of the faith and pure conscience. Uh, understand the Word of God, apply the Word of God to your life. We don't know it all, but we are steadily searching and moving forward and learning more and more about the Word of God. All right. Amen. You promise before all these people that you're going to try to live your life like that to the, to the best that you can. If you, if you do, say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Amen. Praise God. I want to these my wife and elders, deacon, and the deacons, and all y'all to stand. Pastor Candace and all y'all. Um, I haven't done this part at the ordination before, but I want to. I want to do it this time. Um, as you all know, we we here today again uh, at the Lord's request to. Uh, and we want to set aside and ordain the Syracese here uh, to the office and the work of the ministry as deacon and deaconess. So what I want to ask you all, Pastor Adrian and all of you all, um, do you acknowledge and uh, approve of Tyree Elder Rada as deaconess in the church? God here at Christian Faith Fellowship Church West. Do you approve of that? Will you pray for them as they walk in their ministry? Will you, will you, will you work with them and uh, giving them all the support that they need uh, to do the work that the Lord has called them to do? It's not going to be easy. And will you help develop and bring out the honor and the glory of God that's on their life? I will. Right. Well, I thank you for that. You may have to see. I just wanted to put that in there. I also want to say something to the congregation out there. Um, do you guys uh, in the congregation, uh, especially the members of this church, uh, we have a few. Can you stand if you're a member of this church? Are you able to stand? Do you all acknowledge and approve of Black Tyree and Deaconess of Black Elder Rada uh, as Deacon and Deaconess of this church? I'm so Do you? Proud of you. 
big yeah, brother. I'm so proud of you, big sister. Will you guys pray with them as they go forward in their ministry? Yeah. 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 Yes. Will you allow them to work side by side with you to accomplish the mission of this church and giving them the proper honor and support that they need? Now, what we're going to do is. Um, can you stand just for a few minutes? I'm not going to try not to have you standing too long. Um, just have a series of, of questions for you guys. I have them. I have them. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Will you strive to manage your home and lead your family? the way that God has called you to do. If you will do that, say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Amen, amen. Will you be ready to minister to the physical and the spiritual needs of this church body? Uh, if you will say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Will you present yourself as necessary to comfort and counsel those in need, along with the assistance of elders and deacons, uh, elders and pastors uh, in this house. If you would do so, say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Will you maintain harmony in the church body? If you will, say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Will you support Pastor Adrian and I and assist us as you are called upon? If you will, say, so I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. And then will you strive to be an example both in, in personal integrity and Christian witness to this congregation? If you will, say, I will do so with God's help. I will do so with God's help. Amen. Amen. Well, with that being said, I'm going to have you guys uh, come forward, and um, I'm going to anoint you with oil and uh, officially ordain you as deacon and deaconess. Seriously, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus name. Father, as I lay my hands on your daughter, Elder Rada, I ordain her as a deaconess in the house of God, a Christian faith fellowship church. Lord, I just thank you for the call in her life. I thank you, God, for the vision. I thank you, God, for her genuineness, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that she's a She's a dependable father. She says what she's going to do. And she's attentive to that, Lord. I thank you, God, that she's easy to love. Hallelujah. So many women, Lord, will be able to have impact in their lives. My God. Thank you for her service heart, service leader. 
God, help her to be consistent always. God. Help her to sacrifice, Father God. And even, Father, I speak to every area of her life, even every physical thing in her life. Every my God. Thing that may be challenging in her health, Father. I put the land onto my hands, God, I release divine healing. Healing is for children's way. And I just pray that it manifests. High healing for both women and Jesus. Continue to do the work that you call me. Anointed operation of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Her the crown of her head again to the soul. Yes, God. Her Help her to continue to walk side by side with her husband as, a, as he is the head of the home, as he oh continues God. to live according to your word. Help her to continue to raise her family as a godly mother, being an example to me. And we just officially ordain her as a deaconess, elder by the sister. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everybody, let's clap our hands. My God. And having met their standards prescribed, has by the laying on of hands been set apart and ordained as a deacon. My God. As a deaconess. Yes. Woohoo! My God. Glory to God. Thanks for tuning in. Congratulations. Love you so much. Embrace and enjoy your journey. Bye for now.